Well, um, very proud of this team. We talked about all year. Okay. Trying to so come in here. Team. And we're, we're 14 and 0. Back to back. Play to the state title. Um, had a big young man. He was counting. We set that as a goal. This young man executed all year long. Um, very proud of him. Yeah, they've done all the year. They got better each, each week. And that's what's separating them from a lot of teams. You know, to become a champ, you have to have that ability to get better week, week in and week out, no matter who you're playing. And they did that. You know. Very proud of them. You know, we missed a lot of them. Now we're going to go into the next phase and get these young men to come. Coach Parrish, with QO being the team that they are and what they've done all season and what your team has done all season, was there anything surprising on defense from your guys that just absolutely wowed you that they came in here and did way more than expected tonight? Um, I mean, it's, it's hard to they're a great program. We knew them to be able to run the ball, have some success with that. But for us, we was trying to make sure that we didn't pop them off. I mean, they popped one of those. We felt like we could keep them in front of them, maintain, but basically outside the way of that. Um, it was very effective because we were fast enough. All right? So if they get out, we were going to run it down and put it back into a first and 10, do it again situation. We thought we could do that. We would control pretty much that we were going to have. So offensively, we knew. Because we had a, 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 a side of speed that we would be able to get it done. Calvin, uh, curious, those fumbles in the first half that you guys forced, just how much of a boost was that? How much momentum did that give you uh, throughout this game, especially early in this game? Um, it gave us a huge confidence boost, you know, uh, and, let, and let our defense know, you know, we can play with these guys, we can stop these guys. You know, give my offense the ball, you know, that's a, we get an offense the ball more times than expected, then it's really dangerous, you know. And it was all just on, you know, them being points on the board, and that's the one out there doing that again. Jabari, it seemed like the offense really got rolling in the second half. I mean, what, what do you think kind of just sparked you guys turn around that time? Um, skill plays, plays, and all the slides were rolling. Um, our two blocks so it helped us spring free. So we made enough plays to write down the defense and you know, after that we really got rolling. Coach, Isaac with you performance tonight. What were you seeing from him that was so effective up the night? He was able to control his age. Um, we talked about this week, we had to do a lot of wrong shoulder with him. And our league was able to one on one, not be with them. They do a good job running those powers. Uh, we was able to get underneath for that, hold down his side because of that, you know, and keep everything inside. Uh, as long as they, we can stop them get to the perimeter, we felt like we could keep adjusted in there, we'd be a fact check. So over the edge did a good job with that all week, all day, <laughs> all night, actually. Piggyback on that, what has what Isaac meant to the, the WISE program this year? I think this is his first year here. First of all, um, all of our young men needs a lot to the program. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaac, uh, his character, the type of person he is, he's a hard worker. Uh, that's always good to add into the mix of what you already have. Uh, that's pretty much what he brings. You know, of course, he's an outstanding football player, so you want that also. He had to change what he learned here from what he learned at the other program. Um, he was able to do that and blend in and be very effective. Jabari, you're leaving here with two straight state titles, kind of lost in a couple of years. Um, how does this one feel compared to last year? Uh, this one is more exciting. Um, when I was back here, did something that no other people still has done. And so like this year, I really have the keys to the offense. And I thank you, Coach Rob, Coach Parrish, all the coaches for believing in me throughout all these years. Dimitri, we talked a couple of weeks ago, and, and I know this was your first one. How you feeling? You did a lot out there on the field today. Feel great. It was always fun. I, I, I can feel a lot of these stuff. I'm 
smiling on me. Coach, yesterday, Coach, uh, Coach Falk from Damascus said the only the only team that can beat Damascus is the Mets. Do you feel like that about these guys? <laughs> I said that on you. Uh, I actually texted him. <laughs> so, uh, one of my quotes, uh, <laughs> great minds think alike. So, you know, we felt like that at the beginning of the year. Actually, I think, in my mind, what makes this group special is I remember when they had a close week, basically for us to come together as a group. Um, we were able to do that, sacrifice individual goals for teams outstanding. And once they was able to do that, I knew. Said, uh, nobody can beat us but us. That's it. One game at a time. You know, just trying to focus and get here. You know, you actually was rushing it, rushing the process. People don't understand it's hard to really enjoy the season when you know your team is dominant. Um, and you think about all the things that could go wrong. That's the toughest part. You know, you're dealing with young men, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old. You think about things that can happen outside of school, in the school, things of that nature. But these young men was excellent. All year long, sticking with each other. We had different talks and uh, then being able, to, being able to reel each other in. It's truly outstanding. Coach, I'm going to make this my, my personal last one, but when a program has so much success, we start thinking outside of the conference. We start thinking of scrimmaging even bigger conferences, let's say the WCAC. Can we look forward to big scrimmages next season from you guys? I mean, you're, you're, you're pretty up there right now. Absolutely. It's got to be a schedule day. All right. Let them guys start August 1st. Of course, we're going to start to August 10th. We can make it happen. It's so big. All right. Anything else? Nope. <laughs> Not for <All> me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.